What's up, guys? Welcome to my channel, 2022 Kia Tolerari, Toleride, whatever you want to call it. All right, if you're having a problem with the AC system, um, this car is controlled by a lot of modules. So, let's go right here. Right here is some of your fuses are right in here. Right here, you're steering right down here. So, you grab this little guy and you pull out on it. So, right in here, you're going to have a listing of modules. Okay, so if you take a look at this guy right here, it's gonna tell you a module. Uh, you need to check all the fuses first of all. You got a fuse for a rear AC here. You have, uh, let's look for module nine. Module nine, where can we find a module nine? Okay, module nine. Uh, we got a module 11. Module nine right here. Module nine controls a lot of the stuff goes through modules and uh, so this is a this control this is 15 amp fuse here. It controls your uh, front AC controls, which are like all over here. So you need to check that fuse first of all. So let's go through here. Module nine. Module nine is a 15 amp fuse right next to uh, um, module 12 here, right next to module 12. So it's one, two, three. So you're looking at a 10 amp fuse, 7.5 amp fuse, and a 15 amp. Okay, so we got a 10 amp. We got a 10 amp, 7.5, and 15. This blue one right here is module 9. Okay, so we're going to go through uh, one more module here, module 10. Module 10 right here, the first one right here, 10 amp. You want to check that fuse also because that module controls rear AC controls and uh and front is, is related okay uh we got a module six okay module six where is module six here um okay there's gotta be a module six i know six is related to ac so bear with me guys here okay we got a module one module two module eight module six why can't i find that okay module five is here module four module six right down here module six right here okay 7.5 okay that's uh, right next to another 7.5 and this is the second one right here now first one two second one right here the bottom one here 7.5 is module six and then you got rear ac okay rear ac is right here one two three four so you have if you have any issues there so you're looking at one, two, three, this blue line right here, the, the fourth row, first row, second row, third row, fourth row, this 15 amp fuse right next to this 7.5, 25, I'm sorry. So these are the mini, mini fuses, so make sure you use the correct fuses. Anyways, uh, this car is kind of complicated. It's not that easy to work on this baby, but you do need to check that because you got controls right and left. It's, it's really, uh, really, uh, Car is really electrical, you know. So right in here under the hood, so we got more fuses under the hood. So we're gonna go look at one fuse down here. So what I want you guys to check on this guy right here, right here, ten amp fuse right here. Okay, this is very much related to your whole AC system, meaning AC compressor, AC relay. Whatever control, say if this died, this fuse blows, that means either you have a short or that you had you used the uh, AC system for so long, you did a probably 10 hour drive and constantly had the AC on that could burn out. Okay, so this is a 10 amp fuse. Um, we're pretty much looking at you got spare fuses here, so you could use any of these fuses right here. These are all spare, this whole row right here. So to get this 10 amp fuse, what you do is you take your fuse puller from right here, you drive your fuse puller. You put this right on top of that. Okay, that's your yes, your that's your fuse right there. You pull it out, and you're gonna grab this 10 amp fuse, and you could just put it. You can use a test light to test it. You do need to check the fuse first, and uh, you can always just swap it. Sometime it could be blown. But anyway, other than that, I don't find anything else on this car that can be. I was trying to locate a relay, which I could not. It might be controlled uh, internally. Relay might be integrated into the ECM. That's how these new cars are common like that. That's how they would come. 
Anyway, guys, I don't see anything else. If you guys can see anything out here, it's all up to you. And that's it. Thank you for watching my video. If you have any AC issues, you might want to check a few of those things. Other than that, either your compressor is bad or your Freon has leaked out, okay? You also have a switch over here. It's a three-prom switch over here. And um, that might not help you out there because you cannot, you cannot bypass that or anything like that. That's that little guy right there. So you can uh, check your pressure with the machine. And this is using our one, two, three, four refrigeration, something different. Anyway, thank you for watching my video.